Hello, my historical fashion friends. Today, we are getting ready with a young married Viking woman. She wakes up in her smock and she is ready to start her day. It's a very important day today. And so she puts on her orange kirtle and it's very comfortable. There's some piecing in the sleeves. Uh, she needed to save on the fabric, but this is totally okay. The base layer of her smock is made of linen, and this will keep sweat and other body oils from staining or soiling the wool. Then she puts on her third layer, which is an apron dress. This is also made of wool, and it has a tablet woven hem on the bottom, as well as a tablet woven band at the top for decoration. Today is not just an ordinary day. Today is an important day of celebration, and so our young Viking woman is wearing an apron dress, which is a special garment for special occasions. She pulls the straps over her shoulders and then picks up her tortoiseshell brooches and string of beads to attach them to the straps. All she has to do is put the straps through the loops and then attach the tortoiseshell brooches to each one. Her string of beads hangs in the middle and displays the treasure she has accumulated. Her beads are made of metal, glass, and clay. Next, she picks up her tablet woven belt and puts that on for some decoration as well as a place she could add a key or a bag if she needed to. On her feet, she wears woolen hose with no lining. There is also evidence of types of knitted stockings at this time. And those are tied at the knee with another tablet woven band. Next, she puts on her leather shoes. These are a very basic design, but they do the job. And last, she puts her hair, which is braided, back through itself. As is seen on various bog bodies which have been found. This secures the hair in place, and then on top, she adds a silken cap which is modeled after the finds at the Coppergate dig. Now she's ready to start her day. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.